I'm Barbara Chadwick, the Master Gardener here at Ross Seed Company in El Reno. And we're here to talk to you today about cover crops for your garden and raised beds. By this time, everybody's garden is just about through. And cover crops are a really good way to fortify the soil. So, a cover crop that I enjoy is three together. Austrian winter pea, crimson clover, and buckwheat. So it's a cover crop is anything that is growing on a bare spot that's not growing a crop at that time. We'll plant the buckwheat for that beautiful bloom for the bees. We'll plant the clover for that beautiful bloom. And all three of these turned under the ground in early February when planted in early October will allow very good nutrition and green manure and nitrogen to be naturally fixed into the ground. So here is our cover crop crops planted in our Junior Big Bag Smart Pot. I grew cabbage, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, spinach, and lettuce in this in the spring and summer. It all went down and we planted the cover crop in. So I'm gonna turn that in in February and this ground is gonna be ready for me to replant in the same soil that I used last year. We'll also add an additive called Humalpha or Humor Nature's Prescription. And that helps to put the mycorrhizal bacteria that we need to fortify this soil again. If you'll step this way. Here's my straw bale garden. We had uh, bell peppers planted in these this year. You'll see that the straw is really begin to break down. I like to wrap them with saran wrap. It helps to hold them together and keep that uh, heat factor in. But we planted them here also. And look, we planted it on nine and four and the buckwheat is just about to put on its first bloom. Remember it's buckwheat, crimson clover and Austrian winter pea to give you the best ground cover crop for the best nutrition. I recommend that you think about a cover crop today.